let's jump into the relationship stuff right here. Just looking at this, this article has been out for a while, but I want to talk about it with you. Mm. A decade of fruitless searching, the toll mm. of dating app burnout. Ten years after the launch of Tinder, some long-term online daters say endless swiping has been bad for their mental health. Not the fact that they even found anyone and it was like a relationship didn't work out. It's bad for their mental health. Uh, yeah. Let's go read a little bit that I'm sure. So, yeah, they're, talk, they're talking to Abby, 28 years old. She's been on. Dating apps for eight years. Um, all of them. A OK Cupid, Bumble, wow, Tinder, eHarmony, Match. eHarmony and Match. You have to pay to get just yeah. to, to use it, I think. I never heard of Woo Plus, Coffee Meeks, Bagel, and Hinge. Easy. I didn't know. Two or I plus hours three. a day piling up matches. What? Wow. That's so that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a, lot. That's a long time. And uh she talks about her um you know, some some bad matches, some pressure to have sex. Um, thirty percent of online daters say someone continued to attack to contact them after they said they weren't interested. Oh, I'm not. I'm not surprised and, by that. Yeah. And thirty five percent had re received unwanted sexual explicit images or uh, text. Mm. Probably like dick pics, which is yeah, so stupid. Um, she says, "I feel burnt out. Contemplate. You know, it. Now she's contemplating spending forty five hundred dollars to work with a matchmaker." What the? F okay, hold listen, on. Pedro, listen, we, I, Pedro, I, we're in the wrong. We're in the wrong industry. Let's be matchmakers. Uh, right? you know, I would be horrible at that job. But <laughs> listen, okay, this is my thing about these apps. I think men also struggle, but for different reasons. I had a really good conversation with a buddy of mine. It's I think he's forty three now. Good looking guy, works out like you know, and he just he can't he can't get a match. And you know, there's other reasons for that possibly, but like men and women have different perspectives of these apps. And I think there's a lot of guys on these apps and a lot of women, but women are getting more messages probably because guys are just horny and that's how it, that's how the world works. Right. <laughs> so women are just inundated with this, this, this pictures blowing up where you at two, two, three in the morning, you know, like you want to hook up like, and you know, some women might do that as well, but it's mostly guys, right? Let's not kid ourselves here. Right. But yeah, I think for guys, it's hard because, the competition, you know, like you could have 20 dudes going after one chick or swiping on the same girl. So she has 20 or 19 more options than the average dude. Right. Yeah. But for this woman, it's like, okay, is she having a bad experience? Is she too picky? Which I don't know if that's good or bad, but that's a, you know, how does she look physically? Let's not kid ourselves with these dating apps. The first thing every single human being that's on a dating app looks at is the picture. Am I attracted the, to that person? Is there a something name and a there? picture? I think name it, maybe an age, but that's about it. You, Could be age as well. Yeah, right. But like you're yeah. looking at the pictures to first, you see in a picture and age, I think that goes hand in hand. Right. But even for me, like if a woman is attractive and she's 50, that's not a deterrent for me. Right. But if she's unattractive and 50, either, that's a deterrent. Right. So yeah. I think that, um, the apps have just numbed everybody and Tinder specifically. I think that's what we're talking. It's just, you know, it starts off as an app to hook up. So at least that's what it's known for on the streets. That's how that's I, why I always I always thought Tinder was more of a hookup. I mean, obviously, right. you know, people are looking to link up for many reasons, but I always felt that that they had that kind of um, connotation, um, especially right. when it first came out. Um, but a lot of people are just experiencing fatigue. They're saying that a lot of people, um, and this, they survey about well, 500 people, which is decent not a lot they should have more than that but 18 to 55 year olds they said that they experience emotional burnout or fatigue 80 percent um asked this and then uh in 2016 match did a survey with 5,000 people americans said half of them said they were burnt out with their dating life so you know Pedro, you've you've kind of suggested some of the reasons why it's possible um this is a very interesting insightful comment by dasha poppy uh, craigslist is the og dating site i don't think personal, anyone was looking yeah. for dates or dating <laughs> seriously on craigslist they were looking for no. you're intimate looking for, encounters you're looking, for, you're looking for hookups yeah uh, whatever you're looking yeah but to get killed um, is either to you want to get killed or mess around yeah, with a yeah. man or oh, those two <laughs> just <laughs> Well, I think the OG was um, like, you know, there used to be, you know, people hooking up in like mm -hmm. parks and bath. <laughs> like there's a lot of old, you know, trucker <laughs> style. Like there's a lot of other stuff we can go down. Right. Yeah. But like 
with the shout out to Gig Life. He said uh, it was a murder site. <laughs> it's like this is a murder site. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it legit had like you I mean, know, he's, like, not wrong, he's not yeah. wrong. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. Um, but I think for Tinder, because Tinder was like the first one to you know, kind of the Facebook of online dating, fast, yeah. easy. Like I think Match and eHarmony, but when you go to those websites, you have to fill out something. They're really trying, at least putting more effort to find a match compared to Tinder, where it's just a face and a picture, and maybe, like I said, the age. Um, yeah, I think... Oh, okay, I got... All right, Did Dash Dude just came with a comment. Did you catch it? Did you catch so it? I'm going to say something <laughs> that you guys may not know. I don't, you guys don't know because I never told you. So, a shout out to Dash Dairy TV for bringing this up. <laughs> I shit you not, Pedro. Mm. I met my chick on Black Planet. <laughs> Whoa, hold up. I knew you and your girl had been together for a minute. Like, Way I mean, you know, too long. Yeah, I know I that, mean... which is which is, should be applauded, number one. Okay, yeah. that's, that's, so that says a lot about you and her. So, yeah. But I didn't know that. So, so, so Dash Theories, I... listen, he knows. We got to have him on the show one day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he's, he's, he's a, up. listen, I think, he, I think he's around my age, super smart dude, um, yeah. funny as well. So, yeah, uh, this was before, we uploaded pictures because I didn't have like comp. I had no fancy cameras. Uh, like I may have, I'm, I don't think I had a picture on my profile. Oh, I think Planet she, didn't have pictures. You could, yeah, the upload. You know how easy it is now. You could take a picture and upload it. Before that, you had like get a scanner to get a, or like if you had a portable yeah. and you wanted, yeah. you scan it on the scanner and then you upload it onto the internet. No, no one's gonna understand any of this unless you guys are around my age. But I just read her profile and then I, I had her aim, screen name. And I was chatting on her, and then we made a, a, I guess, a date to meet up downtown Brooklyn. Yeah, I missed it because I was also talking to someone else at the same time. Oh, you and were. me not. I was <laughs> such, I had, yeah, such a nerdy cornball <laughs> dumbass. I'm thinking one of them is going to cancel on me. Let me, I could choose between the two. I guess, guess who I met with? Nobody, because I clearly didn't know what the hell I was doing. I went over there. Met, because remember, no cell phones, no means yeah. of communication. Yeah. But then um, but then we, me and her made another date to meet at the museum, uh, National Museum of History. And uh, I guess you could say that that's uh, you know, I feel history. Like it, history. I feel like it worked out pretty <laughs> damn well. But do you guys remember, I've met a couple women on those phone lines. Anybody remember the phone, like where you... My, you could actually yeah. call in and you yeah. could scroll through the actual <laughs> message somebody would leave, like an automated, like maybe it was 30 seconds, and then you could try to connect. I, I mean, I am that old. We are dating was, our, we are so dating no idea ourselves. Like. So <laughs> but listen, I ain't got no shame on my game. I've met a couple women. This was back in, let's see, this is 2000, like 2000, 2001, 2002, about that time frame. And uh, yeah, I mean, party lines, party <laughs> lines, whatever there. And there was a few of them, right? There were some that would be more like, like ethnic, you know, black, uh, yeah, yeah, brown. Yeah. Right. And then there were the ones with white people. Like, and I was in both. I didn't care. I was like, I'm, 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 <laughs> what's up? You know, I'm a, yeah, yeah, Free yeah. love so, for everybody. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Equal opportunity employer. So uh, I remember those. <laughs> those were crazy. I was never on black planet, but I remember being on those. There was lines. a one. It was one for you guys. And I thought Majete? Yeah, I think oh, it's called Magente. You never had, you never seen that one. I mean, I, it was basically they were just you, they were just copying like okay people and yeah. And it was interesting. Now it's it seems like, but don't you think the, that was better because you actually had you had to actually talk to some. You know now with these with these apps you're swiping and maybe you're texting and maybe you yeah. it's still not as personal. At least then you heard a voice, you heard you know and you can tell a lot about yeah. a person's vibe that way now. We've done. We've made things so easy, which can be good in some ways, but it, we lose the social connection, and I think that's where we're getting that fatigue because it's like you're rejected so much, right? Yeah. You're rejected so much, and it, it becomes you burnt out because nobody wants rejection like that. It, that. That wears on a person, whether you're a man or a woman, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, I think there you had to put more effort to meet people because. It wasn't so accessible. But, you know, shout out to uh, Plenty of Fish. Um, there was some real catfish on that site, I tell you. Um, I guess we'll, I'll talk about that later or another time. But <laughs> uh, like, but anyway, it, it's, yeah, I think it's more of that accessibility. We want things faster. We want things yeah. quicker. We want things cheaper. And it's hard to do all that at the same time. 
So and I think a lot of people didn't complain about Tinder when it first came out. These apps, algorithms, matches were happening, I think, more. Then it seems like as these companies try to make profits, well, if they find you a, the best match possible, why the hell would you go back on Tinder? Mm. That's right? an int- You know, I hadn't really thought about that. And there's pay um, options, right? Pay yeah, options so they, they for keep all you, these apps. They kind of they want to keep you in the game. Yeah, unless you pay, then I guess if you pay... You should get a better experience, but I, I check, I check on social media. I check, uh, um, on Reddit, people are paying and still not getting matches. And then it kind of comes down to, yes, women do have, they, they, they're going to, I mean, just like any other situation in the club or at the bar, they, they're, they're the selectors. Yeah. So they're going to take, yeah. So, you know, are you saying that women should just pick whoever? No, but I do think this is an issue. And I think it happens for men and women. Our standards are not aligned with our our own grade, if that makes any sense. Like, mm, yeah, we're over. Everyone's overshooting. I think yeah. Yeah. when you're swiping and swiping and swiping, you get trying to look at the the best of best, and then like, you know, if you if you think if you think you deserve a ten, and I think everyone thinks they deserve a ten, but if you're not a ten, then you're not going you're not going to you're going to experience some frustration. And I think a lot of people go on there and they're shooting over there over what they think they can get. And that yeah. may be a harsh way of saying it, but, you know, who, who knows? I mean, I, I think, and then also when you, when you check on YouTube, there's a lot of, like, men having, a, like, a real problem with women, and, and it also back, vice versa. So everyone is, like, really upset with each other. Yeah. But I don't know. Are we, are, 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 are our standards too high, too low? Like, what do you think? I think when you are on these, these, these type of apps, your standards going to naturally go higher than maybe what you should normally expect because you're looking at pictures and you want, you know, and you get, yep. and a lot of guys, we're just swiping on fucking everything, right? Because yeah. we're like, oh, I just, it's like, I'm gonna swipe on a hundred and then hopefully I get a couple and out of that five that might respond, maybe I get one day. Like that's just, you're playing the numbers game at that point, right? When I think women are a little more selective and they're looking for what kind of pictures, what's his bio, they're going to read a little more into it. They're going to take a little more time, I think. Um, but I think, yeah, I think everybody everybody wants a 10. Most people want to be attracted. I, you know, I'll be guilty of that. I like to look, you know, if I'm looking, I'm like, oh, she's, she's pretty, she's cute, whatever. And then I'm going to read the bio and dig a little deeper. And if if I'm scrolling on some pictures and she got some questionable photos, I'm like, ah, okay, there, there's a couple red flags there. Not worth it regardless. Right. But I think we naturally just go to, we want to, we go, we know we like, what we like, and we're going to shoot for the stars.